Tonight, we are tracking another storm expected to bring more rain and strong winds to our area tomorrow. This one may be stronger than the deadly storm over the New Year's weekend that caused levee breaches, flooding, evacuation, and power outages. Some of the areas hit hard by the weekend storm are still cleaning up and trying to recover in hopes to minimize the effects of the next big weather maker moving in. And so we have live team coverage tonight tracking everything you need to know. We start with meteorologist Brendan Minchiff. And Brendan, now is the time to bring in that patio furniture and make any last minute preparations, right? Yeah, that's right. The wind is going to be really, really strong tomorrow. And because of that, there is a high wind warning goes into effect tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Runs until 4 p.m. on Thursday. Everywhere you see in this kind of burnt orange color, damaging winds, winds out of the south, 25 to 35 mile per hour sustained, but gusting up to 60 miles per hour possible. And remember, we've had all this rain. The ground is not hard right now. It's a very soft, almost muddy ground in places. That means trees are going to be able to topple over a lot easier. Power lines potentially as well. So let's take a look at those future wind gusts as we go in towards Wednesday. This is 630 in the morning tomorrow. And you see wind gusts already in the San Joaquin Valley by tomorrow morning, close to 30 miles per hour. As we work through the daytime tomorrow, gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour from between Modesto up towards Sacramento with the strongest winds and the strongest gusts to come late in the day on Wednesday and into Thursday as well. A lot of wind, but also a lot of rain as well. Here's future cast for tomorrow. First bands of rain moving in with a warm front by the time we get towards tomorrow morning. And then the strongest winds ahead of the cold front, which will push in an even heavier band of rain and move through late in the day on Wednesday. So a lot of wind and a lot of rain and even snow as well. Haven't even mentioned that yet. We'll talk about that later on in the show. Chris and Laura. Brendan, thank you. It's been three days since the powerful holiday storm hit Sacramento County, and thousands of customers are still without power. Yeah, and to make things worse, another big storm, as we mentioned, is expected to hit the area tomorrow, and that could bring even more power outages. ABC 10's Candace Red is live in Sacramento, and Candace, you're talking to folks who still don't have power. Chris, good evening to you. You know what? That is exactly right. And ABC 10, we have been in communication with SMUD. SMUD says that crews are working around the clock to get power restored for all. But there are some hazardous conditions in the way, giving you a live look right over my shoulder here. We are at the corner of Southgate Road and Oxford Street. And again, the company says hazardous conditions like down trees, flooding and road conditions are hampering ability to assess and make accurate estimated restoration times. And you know what? For some, there's no telling when the lights will be back on. Susie Nielsen, who lives in Sacramento, says she's been without power since New Year's Eve because of the strong storm. It's too cold to spend much time here and dark. Nielsen says she's been waiting patiently for SMUD to restore power. I'm getting like one call from SMUD a day, automated, just say, you know, and it, it's not very helpful. The SMUD outage map shows the power will be back on by Wednesday morning. You're going to be on camera. Until then, Nielsen says she checked into a hotel to stay warm, forcing her to leave her cats at home in the dark. It's like $110 a night. At this point, she says the power outage is costing her big. Because I dumped out all the food yesterday from the refrigerator and the freezer before I left. At least $100 worth of food. My power did go out. Elaine Jackson, who lives next door, says SMUD eventually restored the power at her home, but she's concerned about elderly neighbors still in the dark. Another woman who's 100 years old who is actually blind who lives here outside of the court, that she has, she's been driving around with her son, I'm told, to stay warm, and she's on oxygen. With Sacramento County expecting another round of storms. All the wires, the telephone poles, that's another thing too. Jackson says she's worried about the possibility of downed trees, power lines, and flooding too. Jackson says the community is hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. This community, a lot of people knows each other. It's been around for a long time, and, and so they are checking on each other.
and coming back out to you live. Now, once again, since there's still a power outage for thousands of SMUD customers, some of them have even again spent the nights at hotels just for comfort and to stay warm. So we reached out to SMUD to ask them, are they going to fit the bill for hotel stays or provide any additional um, credits or accommodations? Well, this is exactly what SMUD said to us. They say in part, quote, under our service rules, SMUD is not responsible for losses related to power outages unless due to negligence on SMUD's part. However, we are working with customers on an individual basis to address specific needs. So again, it really is on a case by case and SMUD goes on to say that claims can be submitted and will be reviewed on a per customer basis. Chris, Laura. Yeah, and as we saw, those beautiful old trees can really be a problem, too, in a situation like this. And with the overnights in the 40s, these are really not easy days to not have power or to have heat. Candace, thank you. And later on in our newscast, we'll take you to San Joaquin County to check in on communities there still without power.